the Titanic didn't sink because it didn't see the iceberg. It sank because he saw it too late, or they saw it too late. So when we look at these signs, there's signs that stress is impacting our body. There's signs that we're getting afternoon energy dips. There's signs that we're relying on caffeine to wake up in the mornings. There's signs that we're going to the toilet through the night because we're saying it's just a weak bladder when we're getting older. Uh, and there's signs of stress. We can't lose weight. Like, we're struggling with anxiety symptoms. All these signs we're seeing on our body. And we've got the tools available, but they're locked away. We don't even realize it yet. And um, we're seeing these signals. We need to listen to them. And a lot of the times is that we act on these signals, and absolutely, in, in the nicest way, that some people need to have a heart attack to take action. Some people simply won't take action until they've had this thing happen, which is a life-changing event. And I absolutely do pray that they make it through so they can take action on it. But we can see signs 10, 15, 20 years beforehand. For example, Alzheimer's. We can see signs of that 15, 20 years beforehand through blood glucose management. We can see so many signs that our health is not optimal, but we try and push it to the side because we're too busy. We, um, we've got family to, to look after. We're, we've not got enough money. We're, we've got the job side of things, all these things. We've got other ambitions that it's not a priority. And we look at it, and I, I said to you in a message yesterday, is that when did Noah build the ark? What if he waited until the storm came before he actually built the ark? We need to take action. We see the signs, but procrastination is, is essentially killing us. So we need to take action and step up. Whew.